3.4 growth of the pollen tube fertilization leading to seed and fruit formation <coughs> so here we have the pollen grains on the stigma and what happens is that they germinate and a tube begins to grow like this so this tends to be species specific so pollen tubes will only complete if they're from the same species in this diagram um, we can see this pollen tube goes all the way down and round to the ovule here colored yellow so descending down through the pollen tube moves the nucleus the male nucleus travels down through here and into the ovule. So we have a number of things will occur. So the pollen nucleus will fertilize the ovule and that will lead to the formation of a zygote. And this in turn will grow into the embryonic plant. The outside of the ovule here, so this is number two, the outside of the ovule forms the seed coat which is called the testa or the seed coat. Now inside in addition to the zygote we also get the formation of the three of the cotyledons and these are food stores for the seedling that will support the plant until it develops its first set of leaves and the fourth thing that occurs is a thickening of the walls of the ovary here so the plant will put a lot of energy into here things like sugars protein it will build these up and this will form the fruit which is developed from the wall of the ovary or the carpal. So four things, fertilization, seed coat forms, food store inside the seed called the cotyledon and the development of the wall of the ovary, the carpal.